We can apply all sorts of different effects to our sound, to alter any number of parameters, but in order to use them to their best advantage, it's important to understand a bit more about them. Effects fall into different categories, dynamic, special and spatial. And we're going to look at spatial first. Spatial effects can be used in a natural way to add a more acoustic sound, placing the audio into a virtual space that can be as big or as small as you like, and near or distant to suit. These can be used across the stereo spectrum, opening up the sound with a much wider stereo spread, or layering the sounds together at different perceived distances. These effects can also be pushed further into special effects territory. Reverbs, delays and effects that deal with modulation, such as phasers, chorus or flanges, can all fit under the spatial heading. Modulation means changing from one state to another, and these modulation effects can add a sense of movement in the acoustic space to a sound, thus bringing the listener's attention to it in a busy mix without boosting the gain. But let's start with reverb. <laughs> 